Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're back to hear what happens with Amelia Bedelia. Um, but I have a joke first. How do you know that bees are so happy? Because they hum while they work. Humming or buzzing, they buzz, but the joke was hum, so I hope you get it. Okay, so Amelia Bedelia, we left off where she was, she read on the list um, that they need to practice their play. And she had taken the kids outside to play. So we're gonna hear what happens with Amelia Bedelia. I'll finish the story today. What's next, said Jamie, and I am gonna back up a little bit, okay? What's next, said Jamie. Our play, said Rebecca. We have to practice our play. Practice play, said Amelia Bedelia. You mean children have to practice play? School sure has changed since I went. All right, out you go. But Amelia Bedelia, wait, but Amelia Bedelia, said the children. No buts, said Amelia Bedelia. Let's go, start playing. Practice that jumping rope some more, said Amelia Bedelia. I can do better than that. Show us, said Janet, and Amelia Bedelia did. I can run faster than that, said Amelia Bedelia. Show us, said Steve. So Amelia Bedelia did. That's fine, she said. You've practiced long enough. Let's go inside. And there she is practicing running and showing Steve she can run faster. Let me see what's next, said Amelia Bedelia. Here are some problems for you. Yuck, said the children. Jenny, get your apples, said Amelia Bedelia. What apples, said Jenny. Amelia Bedelia looked puzzled. She said, but it says, Jenny has four apples. Paul takes two away. Oops, said Amelia Bedelia. I don't think I was supposed to tell that part. She read the other problems. These all have apples in them, she said. Does anybody have apples? The children shook their heads. And here she is reading the, reading the list about the apples. Then Amelia Bedelia had an idea. Let's go to my house, she said. We have lots of apples. Yes, shouted the children. We better leave a note, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the blackboard and wrote. We are at the Rogers house. Then they went off to the Rogers backyard. Now, remember I said that there are clues that this is an old book. Well, we don't use blackboards anymore. We use whiteboards. So you can tell that it's an old book because of that. And also a teacher would probably never take their children home. But remember, Amelia Bedelia is a housekeeper, not a teacher. So Amelia Bedelia got the apples. She called some children. There is a problem for each of you, she said. You all have apples. Somebody is going to try to take some away. Are you going to let them? No, shouted the children. There they are, listening to Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia went to the other children. You are supposed to take some of their apples away, she said. She told each child whom to take from. Can you do that, she said. Sure, said the children. So I think she's supposed to be doing math problems, but I don't think Amelia Bedelia understands that. All right, everybody, said Amelia Bedelia, go. Children started after each other. They ran all over the yard. Hmm. Let's see. Amelia Bedelia turned and went into the kitchen. She put some of this and a lot of that into a big pot. She put the pot on the stove. There, she said, I'll surprise them. And now she's making dinner. It looks like maybe dinner. Amelia Bedelia started out. Just then, Mr. Rogers started in. What is all this, said Mr. Rogers. What are those children doing? Math, said Amelia Bedelia. Math, said Mr. Rogers. Come see, said Amelia Bedelia. And that is Mr. Rogers, so that is who Amelia Bedelia works for. She helps keep his house in order. They went out. That's not fair, Steve, yelled Janet. You hid your apples. I can't take any. That's not fair, Judy, shouted Andy. You took away all my apples. Hmm. 
I wonder what Mr. Rogers is thinking right there. What in tarnation are they doing, said Mr. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia read him the problems. That sounds like fun. I'm going to help them, he said. He joined the children. Now that does beat all, said Amelia Bedelia. She went inside. Later she called, everybody come, all apples on the table. Apples came from everywhere. Amelia Bedelia put a stick in each one. Then she dipped them in the pot. <gasps> Do you know what she's making? What was she doing with that pot? What do you want to guess? Taffy apples, everybody, shouted. Right, said Amelia Bedelia. Take one and go home. School is out. The children grabbed apples. They crowded around Amelia Bedelia. Please, please teach us again, each one said. Of course, they've had a fun day, very different from a normal school day, I think. Amelia Bedelia said nothing. She looked at her kitchen and shook her head. Mrs. Rogers walked in. Someone was with her. What happened, she said. Look what they're coming home to. Does that look like a clean kitchen? What happened, she said. Where are the children? Home, said Amelia Bedelia. Home, said Mrs. Rogers. But it's not time. It was for me, said Amelia Bedelia. And that is the lady that's with her. I wonder who that is. So think about that. Who do you think it is? This is Miss Reed, said Mrs. Rogers. Did anyone guess that? She is the new teacher. She came to get the children. Then she will have to find them, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm plumb tired out. But, but, said Miss Reed. More taffy apples, called Mr. Rogers. Taffy apples, said Mrs. Rogers. Come on, Miss Reed. Amelia Bedelia put the taffy apples on the table. They all sat down and ate. Hmm. And can you see, um, there is Miss Reed, the new teacher. I'll let you teach any time, said Miss Reed, if you will make taffy apples. Be glad to, said Amelia Bedelia. I do love children. So very interesting that she didn't want to be a teacher at the beginning, but she turned out to be a pretty good one. I mean, except for the times that she left the kids alone. So, well, boys and girls, that is Amelia Bedelia. And tomorrow I will have a different story for you. So I hope you tune in tomorrow. Bye, guys.